at one point you married one of your coworkers. I did. And uh, when did this happen? First of all, uh, I'm a it was, so we like uh, was it 15, 16 months in now. Okay. I'm surprised she even knew my name. <laughs> I woke up this morning like you married me. What were you thinking? <laughs> well, and then there was an interview with LeVar Ball when he made a comment mm. about her, which got him banned uh, from ESPN. When you first saw that that footage, what did you think as her husband? I was watching it live. Oh, you were watching it live? Okay. Yes, I was. The first thing I thought was I got his number in my phone. I live with her. I don't want this to create a stain. And we all know how this social media generation works. It may trend and become, um, it, it may trend or it may not. So in my head, I'm trying to, I'm gonna see which way the wind blow. You know, she felt some type of way about what he said. He felt some type of way about his reaction. Uh, how did she feel? When she got home that night, what did she tell you in terms of her feelings? So it's, it, it, it's, it's unique because this isn't just my friend. This isn't somebody I'm dating. This isn't somebody I just live with. This is my friend. This is my actual wife. Yeah. So for anybody that's ever been married, <laughs> you don't run your household anyway. <laughs> If you tell your boys you do, you're lying. So number one, we decompress directly, indirectly about what happened at work. So we kind of have like a routine about it. We work together. So it ain't like we driving into work, hey, what do you think about Monday Night Football last night? And then driving home, like, yeah, you see LeBron's post about Taco Tuesday? Like, we're not doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's later in the day at some point, we kind of decompress about who, what, when, and where. So ours had already gone by before we really talked about it because that's our routine. But he had already said something about it because I think somebody interviewed him about it or whatever. So now it's the circumstance, what happened, how they responded, and then his, his inter then also he compounds it with an interview. What did he say in his interview afterwards? He was like, uh, you know, I think her hair was in the gutter or... You know, whatever, whatever. She took it the wrong way is how he... How yeah, he like, saying. she took it the wrong way. And, and by the way, you're talking to somebody that has had so many different flare-ups and brushes throughout his life. So I ain't coming to nobody, especially my wife, trying to act like I ain't never had my name in the headline for the wrong reason or got into it with somebody in the media, mm -hmm. you know? So I judged how she felt by how she responded to my text. So I text her, I was like, everything good? Was How you feeling? And I text him too. Did he respond? When I got, when the show ended, we both played, he tried to, we played phone tag. I tried him, he tried me. Right after their show, I was doing, I, like you said, I do a couple of shows, so he hit me while I was doing Jalen and Jacoby. Then boom, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try to hit him back. He didn't leave a message, you know, call me, boom. And I couldn't get him on the phone. So at this point, he had already did a second interview about it. But the bottom line is this. I want to squash something. And not you. You fools think <laughs> Jalen and Molly Karen Rose got what it take to get somebody banned from Disney, ABC, and ESPN? Y'all really believe that? I just saw a promotion with him and Stephen A. Smith about who had the best debate on their show a week ago. So this idea that, oh, she got a black man banned from the network. Like, that's just ignorant. So he's not banned? No, he's not banned. I just saw his face on TV a week ago. Well, so where did the news come who, from that he was banned? Who, uh, you don't know. And people, you know, working in the media, people take headlines. Like, where did that term even come from? There has not been a supporter in the national media that represented for the Ball family father in particular than me. I mean, I'm looking. I asked for him to adopt me. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the Business Insiders. There's LeVar Ball, 
reportedly no longer welcome at ESPN after latest controversial appearance. Reportedly no longer welcome. Right. Okay. Until two news. weeks later. <laughs> he, he, he's back again. <laughs> was, was, okay, so let me ask you a question. Was she personally bothered by that comment, or did she think it's just part of the job? She didn't She didn't get us. I mean, it's, it was a live TV moment. They had their interaction, and we keep it moving. It was, she didn't get in the car mad, or she didn't get in the car and cry, or we didn't talk about him all the way home. <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. We're rich. <laughs> we work on television. We talk about sports. Yeah, how mad are you going to be? Right. <laughs> this is the worst that comes with right, all that. Yeah. <laughs> they had an awkward exchange on TV. Like, when the last time you tried to get somebody dap and it was awkward, or a hug and it was awkward. Like, okay. you know, just like all day, like, I can't believe it. Eight this morning when I tried to get a dap at work. Oh, man, that one didn't go so well. Like, whatever.